thanks for uh, opening up this video. And before I tell you what, what's going on tonight and the future of Strings Attached, I wanted to address something. Somebody sent me an email recently and they were like, oh my gosh, you need to take me off the list. I'm getting way too many emails from you. And I just wanted to say that if you are such a person that feels like you're getting way too many emails from me, but you do want to keep in touch with Strings Attached, I put a bunch of links at the bottom of this email and ways that you can follow us that don't involve email. So go to the bottom of the email and click on one or more of those and also click on unsubscribe. Now, we don't prefer this. Let me just tell you there's two things here. One, we don't prefer it because we want to keep our fans in our control. We don't want to hand them to another company like Bands in Town or Facebook or Spotify because then they're the ones that are controlling our, our communication with you. But we completely understand that some of you may just want to hit a strings attached show once or twice a year so that we give that option. Feel free to unsubscribe below. And there's some of you, you know, maybe if you consider um, some of the things that we're doing for the community, like the uh, outreach shows we do for the elders, uh, Strings in the Woods, Explore Austin with the Native, our collaboration shows that we do with people like Ian Moore. There's so many things that we're doing. And if you want to push through your comfort zone a little bit, you can always just press the delete key or you can make a filter and put our messages into a promotions folder. That's another option. You know, if you want to consider, you know, letting us have control over that relationship with you rather than giving it to another party like Facebook or Spotify, then consider just dealing with the, the increase of face of the increase of emails and just pressing delete when it's when it's not something you want to do with us because what we have found is in our um studies and all the studies show that actually artists do better if we send more emails because there's so many people out there uh, and there's so many things to do and there's so much noise in our current environment that a lot of people miss our emails and they might get a second one for an event when we send a higher volume and see that and come to our show. So we've just found that it's better to err on the side of sending too many emails. And this is our primary way of getting out information so that we can survive uh, in this really unpredictable way of making a living. So that direct connection to you, if you don't mind just taking a little bit more of that, that email volume, we sure appreciate it. But if you don't want to, we're totally fine. We understand click on one of the links below in the email to keep following us and that'll sever this email relationship. So on to the shows. Tonight I am doing a special curated Explore Austin Music with a Native and we'll start out at Magnolia Cafe South on Congress at five o'clock for dinner. I have it all curated. If you want to hang out with me, have a good time, dance, just talk about music in general, talk about anything, life in general, enjoy some music, this is a great night for music, and the only way you can find out about it is coming to Magnolia at five o'clock today, Magnolia South, that is, or text me for more information, or click on the link to book another date. We're doing these all the time, and all you have to do is click that link that's in the email, and it'll take you to all the dates we have. Also, this Sunday, we're doing our Western Swing Show with uh, Steve Carter, Caramal, and Steven Zirkel at Radio Coffee and Beer. It's a free show, and hopefully there'll be room on the dance floor for dancing. And we have many, many other shows coming up, including our return show with Slade Cleves on March 29th, I believe. And all of those will be at stringsattached.org. Click on the events or the schedule page and you'll see that. We sure appreciate you being a fan and putting up with the higher volume than normal email volume. And we'd love to see you out there tonight with us or next Sunday and Monday, we'll be doing the Explore Austin music. I'm sorry, not Sunday, sorry, February 1st and 2nd. And then this Sunday, January 26th at Radio Coffee. Thanks for being a fan of Strings Attached. And be sure to follow us on Facebook, whatever you do, really makes a difference. Go on there. If you haven't followed us, we we still haven't hit a thousand followers. And I know there's, I know there's so many of you out there. We have 5,000 fans in Austin. If all 5,000 of you were following us on Spotify, it would make such a huge difference in our royalties that we get from Spotify. This is the new world. All right. And come and join us for an outreach show for 
for the uh, elder outreaches that, that we do all over town. We just did three this week, or if you want to make a donation, if you live somewhere else in the world, it's at stringsattachedcares.org. What other Austin band does so much for its community? Ask yourself. Look at our look at our track record. Look at the ways that we reach out to you and, and make a connection with you. I'm always available by my cell phone, 512-589-8749. Always available as long as I can uh, have that one-to-one uh, -one relationship, including tonight when you can come out with me for a specially, special curated show on Austin Music. And we, again, we love all of you and love your support. That's how we can stay here in Austin in this extremely expensive living scene and uh, keep doing what we're doing because you come to our shows and you come to our events. I'm going to play a little piece on this guitar, which is really small. I bought this guitar for my daughter in 1996, I believe. soon. 